Here we're going to talk about using platform-specific values directly from XAML. When you're building your UI, you may find that you need to tune it slightly for the different platforms. Here's a classic example. This is the same Xamarin Forms app running on three different platforms. Notice the top there. It looks fine on two of them, but on iOS, the app overlaps the status bar. So we'd like to set a padding here where the top value is 20 units on iOS, but zero on the other two. If we were doing this from code, it would be easy. We could just look at the operating system at runtime and return the appropriate value. But our goal is to do it from XAML rather than from code. This is a UI-specific value, and arguably it's more appropriate, more convenient to do it from XAML rather than code behind. Xamarin Forms has a nice utility class to make this easy. It's called onPlatform. You give three different values, and then at runtime, it does that switch statement for you. It's just a type converter that returns the appropriate value for the runtime platform. So notice on platform is a generic, and we do have to specify what type T will be. If we were doing it in code, well, it's easy to do. But our goal is to do this from XAML, not from code. And the XAML specification has a way to specify generic type arguments. The x colon type arguments directive is built into the XAML language, and that's the way you set what T should be. Here's a more complete example. So the type here will be color, and then there's three values for the different platforms, and of course we would use this as the value for some property of type color. So in this case, I nest that inside the setting for a background color. Here's a more complex example. So our goal here is to solve the, the problem we saw in that first example where the top padding needed to be 20 units on iOS. So we're, we're setting the padding property of the page. We're using an onPlatform object, and in this case, padding is a thickness. So we set the type argument to thickness, and then we provide three thickness values for the different platforms. Now, that, the way of doing it there is kind of verbose. Let's slim this down a little bit. So for the moment, put aside the idea of on platform, and let's just talk for a moment about thickness. That's the verbose way of creating a thickness object where you specify values for the four properties, but creating a thickness in XAML is so common, there is a type converter from string. So instead of the yellow line at the top there, we can just put that string 0, 20, 0, 0 as a shorthand. So if we apply that to the code we had a moment ago, right, it slims down to this. Those three strings represent the thickness objects for the three different platforms, and this is quite a bit nicer looking. And as a final simplification, notice that for Android in Windows Phone, we're using all zero values, and that turns out to be the default for a thickness object. Therefore, we don't have to put those at all, and we can slim this all the way down to that. So there's an example, sort of a classic use of on platform to set the top padding to 20 units on iOS, but leave it at zero on the other platforms.